best friends welcome back to my channel so today I have an installation video I just want to show you guys what I do to my hair if I have my hair loose underneath my wigs if I don't have any cornrows I do this method so I just want to show you guys this installation video um, if you guys remember I did it worked with this company before this company name is Belays. they did send me a 613 wig before and I did do my yellow bob and she was gorgeous so they wanted to work with me again and they sent me another bob but this time it was in a natural color 1B in their yakky straight texture and look at all of that texture right there. This wig is definitely pre prepped as you can see it does have four combs, adjustable straps, um, it does come with an um, elastic band that comes in the box but I don't use those only because like I just do not need that for my hair and so I'm just showing you the texture that's really in this wig. So you get a wig cap, your wig, a pamphlet, a uh, elastic band, I think two, some extra combs that comes in this packaging with the wig. And I actually love the packaging because the box is actually cute. So they do state that their knots are bleached and it is pre-plugged and it's ready to go. You can actually install it that way. But um, I wanted to go in and bleach the knots even more because it wasn't as bleach to my liking so I went in and bleached it I did use quick blue and 30 volume developer I let that sit on my wig for about 20 minutes because these were already bleached but it was just not light enough for me so I let it sit and um, after I let it sit for 20 minutes I washed it out with purple shampoo I used my vanilla no yellow I left it on about a couple of seconds rinsed it off and it was ready to go to air dry if you guys haven't done it already, just make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and my other social medias. I will start hosting wig giveaways pretty soon. And you definitely do not want to miss out on that, alright? So, this is my natural hair. Uh, I had a braid out. I took, them I took it down uh, one day because I wanted to wear my natural hair out. And so, yeah, this is what she looking like. I have a lot of new growth. And I did use, actually, the blow dryer to blow dry my hair and then did it braid out. I, I, you know, I was just trying something new because, I, you guys know, I really don't be dealing with my natural hair like that. I leave her alone. But I wanted to leave her out because of the fact that I wanted to make sure that I was conditioning her weekly. And when I have my individual, my cornrows, I was about to say individuals, I can't do that like how I want to. So I've been doing my little two braids like this, um, and it's been working because I've been needing to, you know, really condition my hair because I just felt like she's been dry lately. So what I'm doing is I just parted my hair into two separate sections, and I'm just going to braid her down. Now, I really don't know how to braid. This is as good as it's going to get. Um, sometimes my friend Charday comes and she does this for me, but if she's not around, I have to do it myself. And yeah, like I said, this is as good as it's get, it, it gets. Um, and this is super quick and easy because if my hair was in a wet state, when it, which it normally is, um, I would not be able to braid this because it'll just be too thick. So I'm just trying my best just to get it down, just to get it as flat as I can. And I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. I'm going to braid her on down and then I'm going to put my stocking cap on so we can get right into the wig installation. Now that everything is braided, I took a little bit of gel and I'm going to just lay my edges down because I do not want them in my way. And as you can see, my hair has grown so much and I'm so excited, especially for next year because I told myself next summer, girl, we're going to have our hair out, okay? So I'm going to take a little bit of olive oil just to give yes, my hair some oil because like I said, it's been dry and so I just just add a little bit of oil. I prefer olive oil over coconut oil because coconut oil um, produces excessive dandruff for me and so that's what I'm not trying to have 
because I got rid of that a long time ago. And so, yeah, I'd like to use olive oil. So, I'm going to just take my stocking cap and I'm going to put it on my hair just to help flatten these braids and my puffiness down. And so, this is what my wig looks like after it has been air dried. Now, when you have a yakky straight texture and you want it to be silky, girl, you better get you a great flat iron because if you don't, this wig will definitely stay fluffy. And that's what I don't want. So this this texture definitely mimics, you know, blown out hair or like pressed out hair, you know. And so um, I love my flat iron and I'm going to link my flat iron down in the description box just in case if you guys want it. This is a nano flat iron. And I am using her at 450 and my hair is not burning at all, okay? I'm using her at 450 because I want her to get super flat because of the fact that this is a thick texture and it's a lot of hair in there. It's, and I wouldn't say it's a lot of hair in there. The strands are just very thick, okay? And it's very textured. But as you can see, even though it's thick, she still got movement. Yes, best friends, yes. So... Um, this wig was very easy to work with and it was very lightweight and flowy which was very nice and so when I get up to the area of the lace I, to lay my part right or to just to lay that area down I like to go in with my flat iron um, I use my flat iron because a lot of people use like they'll wet it and then mold it but this is just faster for me and I don't like like product on my hair so um, I, will pro I prefer to go in with my hot comb. I said flat iron earlier. But my hot comb just to get, you know, to just lay the hair down in the direction that I want it to lay. So after I flat iron and press my hair out, I'm going to go in with my Ruby Kisses makeup. Now, I've been using a lighter shade and I just decided to try a darker shade that's more of a neutral tone that doesn't have too much warmth. And I actually like that color with my skin tone way better. So um, I don't use a lot of makeup at all. I'm only using a little bit. And this works uh, This works very well for the transparent lace. Okay, so I'm going to just use my brush and just push that product in. And not adding extra product. And I am just going to like dust that color over the lace. Just so it can blend in a little bit better. Because as you see... As you saw, that lace was a lot lighter than my skin tone. So I'm going to push my hairline back just to get all the hair out the way. And I'm going to take my got to be because this is my method of applying my wigs lately. Because I have not touched hair glue, lace glue in forever. So I love this method. I take some of the gel and I'll mix it together with the spray. And it becomes this very tacky texture which is super bomb to lay your wigs because it will last you um, I would say three to five days depending on how well you install it. Okay, so this is the hairline and she looks so natural. I did not pl pluck her whatsoever. The only thing I did was go in and bleach the knots more. So I'm going to take that gel and spray combo and I'm going to put her on my hairline. This is safe to put on your hairline. You just have to make sure you're putting, you doing it the right way. You have to make sure that your wig is not tight or too loose. Because when you have a tight wig or a too loose wig, it'll start pulling on your edges. It doesn't matter if you're using glue or gel or spray. If your wig is too loose, too tight, it will pull regardless. So, I'm going to take my blow dryer on warm and I'm going to just make sure that it's dried down before I move to the next section. And I work in section, each section until I'm finished with applying the gel around my hairline. After everything is glued down, I'm going to take some scissors and just cut the lace into sections because it's easier for me to work that way, especially using a razor to cut down the rest of the lace off. So I'm going to use my eyebrow razor to cut the excess lace off, but when I apply the gel to my hairline, I put it on exactly how my natural hairline sits. So when I cut it off, it's going to get cut to my natural hairline shape. And a lot of you guys ask me how do I do that, that's exactly how I do it, don't matter if I'm using gel or glue. 
I, I mo I apply the glue or the gel to my actual hairline shape so when I do go in and cut the lace off it'll it look exactly like my natural hairline So after that, I'm going to take my free spray and spray across my hairline just so I can lay down the edges, like the free edge where I use my razor. Because sometimes you might have a few pieces sticking up and instead of going in with that glue gel mix or whatever, I'm going to just use a free spray and let it sit down on my hairline for 10 minutes. And when I take it off, everything will be laid down. And so after that, um, I'm going to remove my scarf. And if you need to use some water just to do a little bit of cleanup, then that's fine. But look at this hairline. She is natural. Like, I found, I think I found the love of my life of how I apply my wigs. Because, like, my wigs has just been hitting lately. And I'm just like, girl, ooh, yeah, she's been looking bomb. And, like, I'm saying, like, the transparent life makes a huge difference okay because I just feel like the transparent life is just it just it just does something totally different to my wig game so like I'm gonna take my wax from Care Care and I'm gonna put that on my hair just to make sure that all the flyaways are down and give my hair a little bit of shine and like you know if I had a little nine to five I would definitely wear this to work this is very cute and very work-esque like she's very bomb and the natural and the hairline is hitting you guys so if you guys have any questions or concerns feel free to leave them down in the description box i'll leave everything even this flat iron down in the description box if you're interested in purchasing it um and all the links to all the links and the details to this wig will also be down in the description box as well remember to follow me on my social media especially instagram to make sure that you are entering your way into winning a new lace front wig and I will be showing you guys pretty soon on one of my videos what the wig looks like so you definitely have to make sure that you watch my videos and look at this hairline she's so bomb <laughs> bye best friends